Now, as good as this drum machine sounds, it needs some processing. It just, it's just a bit thin and it lacks a bit of character. So I'm going to show you guys my favorite plugins for processing drum machines. And we're going to start with, I'm just going to select the sounds that we recorded. I'm going to start with my favorite plugin in Logic, which is the Overdrive. The Overdrive is a type of distortion, but it's really subtle. And when I'm looking for something heavier, I go for the distortion plugin. But generally speaking, this is enough. Distortion, overdrive, whatever you want to call it, saturation, it changes the shape of the sound. It can make things louder. Um, it can give them more harmonic content. But overall, we're adding a little bit of tone. We're adding some flavor to this kind of slightly clinical sounding drum machine. So let's start with the bass drum. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the drive until I notice a difference and then I'm going to pull back a bit and match it with the output. So follow my lead. So we could hear it at about 10 there, it really started changing the tone too much. About 8 feels right. Let's turn it on and off and match the output. Feels nice, feels really thick. Don't worry about things like EQ, you can always do those later. It's just about getting the character first. All right, let's take the snare drum. Now I have a feeling that some of these other sounds which are a bit quieter are going to need the distortion plug-in because they're going to need a bit more drive. But let's see. So I'm going to follow the same method. quite like that. I'm going to try distortion. Let's have a look. It's exactly the same looking plugin, just got a different name on it and different tone. Way, way, way prefer that. Okay, let's go over to the rim shot now I have a feeling the rim shot is also going to need distortion it's just going to need something a little heavier because it's such a small and kind of light sound I don't think the overdrive is really going to touch it so I'm going to jump in straight away it's nice about 20 Nice, gives it a bit of fizz, just thickens it up, adds more harmonics. Hand clap, I think it's going to be fine with distortion. Now, what I want to show you guys with the hand clap, something quite interesting, I'm going to pull up the level meter here, is don't look at this just yet, but when you distort something, you actually clip it as well, which means you can make something sound louder, but actually appear to be quieter on the meter. Check this out. So we're just going to increase it till we notice a big difference. It's about right. Let's match the output. I would say that's roughly the same. Now check this out, okay? They sound the same volume, but with it off, it's 7.7 .7 dB, okay? Now with it on, 
minus 15.8, but they sound the same volume, right? Now, what's happening is distortion just cuts off the peak here, it just kind of slices it like that, right? So your clap is a little flatter, but still thick because it's got all that harmonic content. So distortion is a great way to get things louder as well in a really subtle way. Something to think about. Okay, last but not least, we've got the hats. I'm actually not going to bother with the closed hat. I'm just going to leave. See what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do this with the closed hat because it's so small. I don't even think it's going to make a big difference with any distortion. So that's fine there. And then the open hat, I'm going to be quite extreme with this as well. Try the distortion with this one. Definitely more obvious, but that's too much. Very nice, much thicker. Now that we have the drum sounding quite good individually by adding subtle amounts of distortion, it's a good idea to actually group them, but excluding the kick, and then add again some more subtle distortion. So just drag those out, their kind of folder that they were in, and I'm going to create a track stack out of these. Now you can just create a group or just sum them to a bus, just call this drums. And I think it's about adding subtle amounts of distortion along the way. Don't go and add a load all in one go, unless that's really part of your sound, you might find that you run into problems. So I'm gonna use Saturn, which is a tape uh, emulator. It's not exclusively a tape emulator. We're gonna try this, we're gonna try another tape uh, warmer, see if we can get a better sound from them. So solo the drums, and we're going to just increase the drive up and down, then turn it on and off. Listen to the mids, the kind of high mids, and the low, well, the low part of the hi hats. Sounds much fuller, much better. Okay, I'm gonna use the mix dial to kind of dial in some of the sound. Again, being subtle, you don't wanna to add too much otherwise. going to get obvious, it's going to get messy. Let's try another tape saturator just to kind of compare it with something else. Quite enjoying this oxide tape by UAD. So again, we'll drive the input, bring the output down, We're kind of going to try and add as much as we can. We haven't got a dry wet control here, but that's okay. I kind of like the way this sounds just as it is. Starting to prefer the sound of this one. It's just a bit brighter, a bit clearer, I think. Definitely brings out the top part in the high hats. Um, let's hear the other one in comparison. So the satin's nicer, but the oxide feels a bit more musical, kind of a bit dirtier, but in a, in a cooler way. So I think I'm gonna stick to the oxide. So if you record a drum machine, don't expect it to sound great out the box. It's up to you to process it in subtle ways that, that are gonna make it sound as fat as you want it to be. Distortion is a great way to go if you wanna get there. 
I recommend using overdrive, distortion, some plugins that are subtle, and then some sort of tape saturation as well, which we could consider to be distortion also. A combination of these things should make your sounds fantastic. Remember at Sample Tools by CR2, we also offer a mix and mastering service. Just head over to www.sampletoolsbycr2.com, click on the mastering tab, and you'll find our range of services there.